Yes, yes, what's going on, everybody? On today's message on the move, let's discuss not caring in our relationships. Now, what's going on? I just want to discuss the whole idea of not caring once you are in pain or once somebody hurts you or once you've been hurt time after time. The fact that you use those words truly mean that you care. You care about being in relationships. You care about getting the best out of relationships. And you care about having a healthy relationship. And you just lost faith in the ability to attract people who are going to give you healthy relationships, who are going to care as much as you possibly care, who are going to be on the same page as you. But we always got to remember a relationship is a faith. A relationship is uh, an organism, an entity that's greater than us. So whether we pretend to not care about being in relationships, we always want them because we're born with love and belonging. We're born with that in our DNA. We're born in pieces to find our holes. So when we are alone, we're always going to yearn and miss having that connection with something outside of ourselves. So just because you're in pain, we need to stop saying we don't care. People that don't care about us take our faith. They steal our faith. People that we don't have great chemistry with, we're trying to force a relationship with. We're trying to, you know, build something that's not there to build. We're building on unstable foundations. So then we now tell ourselves we don't care and we lose faith in our ability to connect with others. Look somebody in the face, have a discussion. Stop hiding behind indifference or hiding behind I just don't care. First, you have to say, I do care. I'm hurt. I'm in pain. This person hurt my feelings. This person has rattled my faith. I feel betrayed. I feel like, you know, you're not giving your all. Have the discussion as opposed to saying you don't care. And even if you have to walk away, acknowledge the fact that you care enough about yourself, but you still care about connections and you still care about people. That person just wasn't the greatest person for you. Or those people weren't the greatest people for you. But you do care. So don't get caught up in the fact that your pain is now your new, your new faith the new idea of what it means to be strong. It's not a strength, man. It's not a strength, ladies. It's not a strength, gentlemen. It's a weakness. We start to really break down and start believing the weakest parts of us are the strongest parts of us because when we were our strongest, somebody hurt us. You know what strength is? Our ability to be hurt. Our ability to care. And everything you do, you should care before doing it. It says more about you not caring than the individual that broke you, that broke your heart, that hurt your feelings, that made you sad, that made you angry, that made you feel indifferent. It says more about you when you adapt that same mentality and start hurting other people. So just remember, it's important to care. It's important to be honest with yourself and say, I care with every breath I have. I care with my heart. I care with my soul. I'm just going to find people who match that standard, who match that standard of care. And then we can evolve into love. So remember, never say you care. Say you don't want the relationship anymore and you want to start a relationship with someone else who actually does care about you and you care about them. 
This is another message on the move. All right, enjoy.